Right now, it is important for me to acknowledge the me that is following Jesus Christ. It is important for me to step fully, faithfully, unwaveringly in that direction. I don't know if y'all have watched The Prince of Egypt. I love The Prince of Egypt. That's my movie, the story of Moses and how he became and God speaking to him. And it's just, it's a movie that has always moved me. So how can you see what your life is worth or where your value lies? You can never see through the eyes of man. You must look at your life. Look at your life through heaven's eyes. And when I started to look at my life through heaven's eyes, I was finding myself, I was finding myself still drowning. Drowning in the little glimpses I could pick out that were of God. And I was getting upset with myself because I'm like, oh yeah, you love God, right? When you love someone, you do anything to make them happy, to please them. I was not showing up like I loved God the way I said I did. Today, I literally was praying to God. And this is after I was praising him, praising his name, singing songs and just, uh, it was, it was worship in this place. Okay. And afterwards, I, I literally had a moment where I, I really broke down and said, I'm sorry. I had a moment when I was saying I'm sorry and really pouring my heart out and really feeling that what I'm saying is coming from the truest depths of my soul, of my heart, I felt God believe me. I felt, I felt and heard him say, my child, you are forgiven. And I broke, I broke down, okay? I broke down when I heard those words because I think so many of us want to hear that we are forgiven for the things we've done. Forgiven for the sins that we have committed. God knows your heart. God knows when you are really trying and when you're not. God knows if you're serious about the thing and if you are just playing around. There is no... You can't play God. <laughs> It, like that's literally and figuratively you cannot play him because God knows you he knows us and he knows us so well that there are seasons in our lives where he just he shows up shows out but also he'll literally test you there okay I'm gonna tell y'all just straight up for real one of the things that I battle is lust um my addiction of Pornography was something that was very prevalent in my life. Everything had to be self-pleasure, pleasure, pleasure, pleasures of the flesh. It all had to be that. It was that way ever since I learned what self-pleasure was at the age of five. I am no longer addicted to porn. I am no longer feeling the need to self-pleasure. And it's something that's kind of wild to me because it's something I've always done. I'm gonna tell you all about Tess. <clears throat> the men that I found myself um, attached to, they started popping up. And this was right during the time when I was really becoming closer to God and really laying my heart and soul down for Jesus. The one guy wound up messaging me on Instagram. Mind you, I married another guy. This is someone also I blocked. He found me on my TikTok and liked one of my TikTok videos. Mind you, he doesn't follow me, no, none of that. So for him to do that, for both of these men to do that, I felt they were tests. I don't know what demons are possessing them to reach out to me, but it ain't gonna work. It ain't gonna work. It ain't. Y'all don't know who on my side. <laughs> y'all don't know who got my front, back, side to side, left to right. Y'all don't. Y'all don't know because I am not the devil's, and you're a child of God. The devil has just been trying to beat down, beat you down from the moment you were entered into this world because he knew that once you knew that God was your something in my eye they trying to once the devil knew <laughs> once the devil knew that you knew that you were God's a child of God he knew he lost the devil knew he lost the moment you knew who you were this dust flying around in my eye is not it, but we going, we pushing through. It's hard to remember who you are 
when you don't know how you became. Me starting to really understand that I am alive because of God. And every time I went away and did something that was not God-like, that is the moment I felt anxiety, depression, I felt scared, I felt anxious, I felt lost. I doubted everything, even myself. I was not acknowledging who I was. The more I realized how much I have been deceived. As I continue to go on this walk with Christ and really get to know him and really fall in love with each other and fall in love with the truth because God will reveal things about you that you have no idea exist. If you fall in love with God and God starts telling you what he loves about you, <laughs> you gonna mess around and find your way. I was watching a TikTok video and a guy was kind of trying to argue with a Christian guy and saying like, does it make any sense that someone dies for the things that someone else has done? That doesn't sound like a justice to you, does it? To me, when I hear that, I hear someone who does not know what the capacity, they could not possibly fathom the love of Jesus Christ to do that. They could not possibly fathom the love someone has to lay down their life for you, for your sins, so that you can have a chance, chance. God is patient. That is unconditional love. That is something that you cannot even ignore when you understand the weight of it. I could no longer ignore it. I can't ignore it now. That's why I'm sitting here professing my love for Jesus because he died on the cross for our sins. And my sins, oh my gosh, when I think about my sins, when I think about what I have done that now, I am literally, the blood is on my hands. That That's the thing, like, the blood is on your hands. And what do you do? What do you do? It's what you do. I've had a transactional relationship with God. I was using the Bible like, oh, I need to have a Bible with me when we watching a scary show. Uh-uh, I need my protection. I need my protection. I need my protection. Such a transactional relationship. I finally am opening it and studying it. There's something I actually want to share. In Genesis 24, verse 15, it's when Abraham is telling his servant to go find his son a wife. And his servant, you know, does exactly what he is told. And then he winds up finding a woman who does exactly what he's praying to God will do. The woman is uh, Rebecca. And her brothers answer once they are all together in the home. Then Laban and Bethuel answered and said, The thing proceedeth from the Lord. We cannot speak unto thee bad or good. This had me stop in my tracks because when the servant is saying, okay, well, can I take your sister? Without hesitation, not caring if the guy is good or bad, it proceedeth from the Lord. So yes, <laughs> that trust, that faith in God. When I've had moments where I was just not listening or trying to figure out but is it the right thing is it the right thing is it the wrong thing is it god's thing <laughs> any relationship you think you severed with god he is there saying you blinded yourself from the bridge i have always sustained you could not see the bridge because you did not know me you did not know it was me it is not too late it is not too late to get right with God. It is not too late to put your trust in Jesus because God is always there wanting his children to recognize him, to love him, and to do his will. And if God is everything good, how could you not want to do that? <laughs> so my channel is gonna be a lot about this. <laughs> It's gonna be a lot about God and say that with so much love, so much peace. 
I just hope and pray that even if you feel like this isn't for you, to allow yourself to hesitate. Because if you hesitate for just the slightest moment, that's God. That's God whispering in your ear, think about me, remember me. Something I wrote down about my testimony that I didn't share in my other video is that the devil wants you to forget. The devil wants your mind. It wants you. God wants you to remember. God wants you to remember all the things that are him and all things that'll help you recognize what is him and what is not him. God wants to give you that language. And I'm finding myself understanding this language and it is beautiful. Ever since I started crocheting, I have been getting my memories back. I'm fixing the bridges I thought I burned. God has been so patient with me. And you want to know why? Because he knew I would find my way back. Because he knows me. And I'm going to want to continue sharing my journey on this channel. Especially my journey of modesty. It is my way of honoring him, honoring my temple, honoring my husband. I want y'all to know that God loves you and Jesus loves you. Even if you don't think it, allow yourself to hesitate on that. And if you hesitate, that's, that's God telling you to remember. And I will talk to y'all in the next video. I love y'all so much. Peace.